You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly Days Prediction Edition. I have five hot, hot predictions for you. One for Marlena and John, one for Eric and Holly, one for Stefan and EJ, one for Xander, and one for Stefan and Harris and the cops. I can't wait to tell you guys all about them. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's jump right in to these predictions, which as always are based on recent episode activity and confirmed NBC soap opera spoilers. Jumping right in, our first prediction is that Marlena is going to ask John to give himself some grace and to not jump to conclusions or sacrifice himself just yet. On Friday, John heard Marlena and Steve talking about the Aria incident where he might have killed Katerina Melionis. And John heard that same thing from Constantine Melionis. And he's convinced that he killed that girl Plus, he feels sick and guilty about Clyde Weston getting away on his watch. After confronting Steve, John is seriously considering turning himself into the police. But I suspect Marlena is not going to let her husband go that easily. I think she wants to help him and wants him to get the answers that he needs. So I think she might advise him to show himself a little grace, be patient, and let her try and pull the truth out of his noggin. The spoilers for Monday the 18th say John rages at Steve in front of Marlena. And by Friday the 22nd, John tells Marlena he's going to apologize to Constantine and turn himself into the cops. But I really think she is going to ask him to wait, let her hypnotize him, see if she can bring back those memories, find out what he did and if he really killed Constantine's kid before he goes and throws himself on the proverbial sword. My second prediction I think Eric Brady is going to pressure Holly Jonas to tell the truth. Tell the stinking truth, girl. Next week, Holly is still more worried about not getting grounded and letting down her mom than she is that she's the reason Tate Black was arrested and is facing more charges now. He was excited to see her show up at the cop shop on Friday because he thought, okay, she's here to tell the truth. But no, of course not. She is behaving like her mom, Nicole Walker, back in Nicole's most devious and dastardly days. But on Wednesday, the 20th, according to spoilers, Eric talks to Holly and he thinks that she is not telling the whole truth about what happened with Tate and what she knows about Tate. So I feel like Eric, good ex-priest that he is, may pressure her to open Open up to him and talk to him about it. And even if she doesn't want to do that, tells her, do the right thing. Come clean with whatever it is that you know. Help Tate out if indeed you do know something that would exonerate him. But I, th- I don't know if Nicole's going to like that or not. But I bet Brady will. And Eric's going to, you know, do right by his nephew Tate as well. He cares about Holly, but he also cares about Tate and Brady, you know. All right, our third prediction for Days of Our Lives. Will Stefan Demera expose EJ Demera to the cops and ruin his big brother's life? So EJ really wants Stefan out of town at this point. He was enjoying crapping on his brother. He's been doing it for months, laughing at him when he knows Stefan is dealing with all this Clyde stuff. And then EJ was enjoying blackmailing Stefan to get his Demera voting shares from him and take all his assets basically in exchange for just getting him out of town. And, but once Harris stopped by at the mansion and told EJ, look, Stefan shot me and he tried to kill me again. And I think you are part and parcel of this. I think you're in it as deep as he is. EJ's a little worried. Now he played it off with Harris and was like, yeah, whatever, you know, but no, he's got to be low key crapping his pants and he should be. 
definitely E.J. Demera is in violation of the law. He has known this whole time that Clyde was the drug dealing mastermind. He knew Stefan was working for him. If I recall correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I also think that E.J. has known about Ava's involvement all along. People died while EJ sat on that knowledge. People overdosed and died. There were drug dealers shot. I think, I'm trying to remember if a cop was shot or and died or if it was just drug dealers died. Anyway, lots of overdoses. People have died while EJ sat on what he knew. At a very minimum, he would lose his district attorney job, which I think would be great for all of Salem. But EJ could wind up arrested as well. And he's been in Statesville long enough to know he does not want to go back. So official spoilers for the week ahead. Monday the 18th, EJ tells Stefan, I've got your escape plan all ready to go. But then that same day, or no, the next day on Tuesday the 19th, Stefan blabs to Harris that he banged Ava. He's trying to do that when Harris is confronting him about shooting him and Ava's furious because she didn't know until that point that um, he shot Harris. And then Harris tells him, turn yourself in by tomorrow morning or else. So that night, Stefan gets drunk, talks to Chad, and then the next morning he heads to the cop shop. He's trying to cut a deal. And I wonder if part of that deal might be to throw EJ under the bus because he has been such a jerk. I think that would be phenomenal. My fourth prediction, I wonder if Xander is going to expose some of the corruption at City Hall to get payback for them leaving him in jail. So I'm not sure if Xander would do this, but I would love him do, to do it. So that's why I'm predicting it. Maybe he can get Everett to do an, an expose on it, a hit piece, basically a dirty DA covering for a family member who's in bed with a drug lord, a DA who, by the way, is himself an an ex-drug lord, a family member who shot at a cop and nearly killed him. And then that cop sat on the identity of his shooter and left an innocent man rotting in jail. The moment Harris woke up and remembered Stefan shot him, he should have told Rafe or Jada so they could have dropped the charges against Xander. Knowingly leaving him in jail is just corrupt, dodgy business. Xander has the Salem Spectator as his mouthpiece and he can air his grievances against the cop in question, Harris, and the sketchy DA, EJ, for leveling bad charges against him and leaving them there when they knew that they were bad charges. Tuesday the 19th, Xander makes bail and then he makes love to Sarah. And I would like to see him take them to task. I think that would be great, but we'll see how it goes. He may just be so happy once the charges are finally dropped that he just decides to walk away. But I don't know. He's a legit businessman. I think he needs to, to have, have some payback for this. All right. My fifth and final prediction, I think Stefan is going to be sent to jail unless EJ can find a way to help him escape. So we have Stefan desperate because Harris knows he shot him and then tried to kill him again in the hospital. There's no way out of this. Ava knows about it now too. And unless Stefan's going to kill Ava, kill Harris, and then run out of town, I mean, really, he's screwed. So Stefan's hoping to work out a deal where I think he can tattle on Clyde. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even put it past him trying to tattle on Ava, EJ, anybody so that he can get some sort of deal. And that's based on some other spoilers I'm about to tell you about. So I think when all is said and done, Stefan probably is going to go to jail. We know that Brandon Barish is out for paternity leave for two months starting the end of this coming week. So starting on the 22nd. So Either he's sent to Statesville, which would be, you know, some sort of twisted happy ending because Gabby Hernandez is there. They could have a reunion behind bars. But EJ might be so desperate to avoid this mess splashing back onto him that maybe he might take the chance to break his brother out, break him away. 
I'm kind of leaning more towards jail, but we'll see how it goes. The spoilers around this for Monday the 18th, EJ tells Stefan the getaway plan is ready. On the 20th, EJ goes looking for Stefan after Stefan has his showdown with Ava and Harris. Thursday the 21st, Stefan is drunk and slurring to Chad about all his problems. And then Friday the 22nd, Stefan turns himself in, completely shocking EJ. But Harris tells Ava he's not sure the deal that Stefan is trying to cut will work out for him, according to official spoilers. Those are all of my predictions for this week's Prediction Edition. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe if you have not already and definitely come back soon. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.